post-workout Monday night, heading into Protein House, which Rachel's never been to. I've only been to it one time. Obviously, their food is fit for bodybuilding, so we're gonna check it out and get some get some grub here. There's no diet pot machine. It's just crystal light here. All right, here is the bowl. What does this reach? The Thai bowl, the Thai protein bowl. Just steak, medium rare, and some chicken. We both got the same thing because we're just we have so much in common. We just choose the same food items, so looks good. Plate full of skinny beef, eight ounce patties each, three packets, so three pounds cooked. Some wild caught salmon portions with skinny beef spinach with delicious dressing and jalapeno mustard for the uh, skinny beef right here and I might I might eat all this I'm not sure but we stopped working out around 8 8 15 8 protein house and now it's uh, getting close to 10 and this is uh, I'm gonna cram this down and I'm hungry and at the end of the day this is still a uh, low calories and I should be able to burn some fat should be is the keyword but we all know that things are a little abnormal right now. Um, I'm guessing my total numbers for the end of the day after eating my four hour window of a bunch of protein, um, carbs were only in the rice from Protein House today, probably still maybe 250 grams of protein if I'm lucky. Um, so in normal situation, I should be burning a ton of fat on this calorie deficit, plus oxidizing fat for a fuel source all throughout the beginning of the day, but Things are just messed up. Fat burning enzymes are messed up. They're skewed from zero estrogen. However, you would think my estrogen would be a little higher now just from the HCG conversion. Although HCG was discontinued two days ago because I just had a 16 day trial worth is what the doctor wanted. So, well, we will see how things go. All right, I'm gonna make a protein shake here, almost like a malt. And this is how I'm gonna make it. I'm gonna use egg whites, 100% egg whites, because I find whenever I blend it up in the Vitamix that it gets a little frothy and actually helps the shake thicken. Uh, it doesn't, it also gives a different amino acid profile obviously. So I don't put too much liquid in because I do like it to get thick and not runny because I want to eat it with a spoon essentially. Kind of like a Wendy's Frosty but tastes really not nearly as good. And then I'm going to actually use Hershey cocoa which has minimal fat, minimal carbs, because it's just the raw cocoa. I'm gonna throw that in there. I'm actually gonna use quite a bit too. Now this is a half tablespoon, so one tablespoon about, approximately. Then we're gonna use whey isolate by True Nutrition, just French vanilla, which will get flavored into chocolate or transformed. And we will throw about a scoop and a half in there. Remember, I'm jam-packing as much protein as I can during this window post-training. So my protein consumption is actually pretty high per serving right now because it's all in a four-hour window or so. We're going to blend that up and show you what it looks like. All right, here's the aftermath of the chocolate malt. Whey protein vanilla transformed into chocolate from the Hershey's. And since I'm a picky, yes, and see how thick it is? The, uh, the egg in there does make it uh, blend and bind together because I find if I do it with water and then the true nutrition protein that it separates and becomes kind of like a slushy, but this is more like a thick malt. And I'm picky, so I want more flavor. I'm gonna add some Folgers iced coffee flavor here. This stuff's pretty strong, so I gotta be careful. We'll try that. And there's my little delicious chocolate latte frosty from Wendy's knockoff. Tuesday night, 10.30 p.m. I need to shave. And I haven't eaten yet. Been working all day glued to the computer because it's Tuesday. And we just got done training. A nice little session at EOS on Eastern. 
Uh, it was nice to decompress. I felt like I had a really good training session. And we need to Why eat. In this? You're in this because you're my wife and you're just in the videos always. Mm -hmm. And just want to say, uh, in a good mood today. Bog what? I was at, well, I mean, earlier we were kind of fighting a little bit, but I mean, <laughs> I've been bogged down with a lot of work today, but it feels good to go out, train, decompress, and it's 10.30, haven't eaten, been fasting, aminopulsing all day like you guys know I'm doing. 10.30, usually if this was old man, I would be having a heart attack from not eating for almost 20 hours. Uh, however, this is, this is kind of convenient for a whole work day. I get to fast and not really worry about it, but remember, I am pulsing. And now we're going to, well, we debated going to Buffalo Wild Wings, which is 24 hours in Vegas. Looks dead in the parking lot, but I don't know why they keep it open 24 hours. I'm thinking because the gambling gross. machines. Not, probably the video poker is why they keep it open. It's just kind of gross. So we were debating that. Then we said, scratch that. It's probably a bunch of junk food. And then we're just going to go to Vaughn's, and I'm on a salmon little kick right now. I'm going to buy some salmon and cook that. And I still have my porta sub sandwich that my wife was very kind to buy for me earlier. And that Smokey actually got into. As you, and I'm going to eat that. I'm not afraid of his germs. It's okay. Gross. So, and yeah, the just want to say the medicine, the thing the bistolic is like literally, I feel more energetic and I feel better. I don't know if it's placebo, but I'll take it. What are you, what are you getting right now? We already have three skinny cows still left in the freezer. This is what happens when you go late night shopping and you're hungry. We have TV dinners for Rachel, which she's justifying as being low fat, and they are. Still obviously preservatives and stuff in them. I got some salmon, as you can see, kind of in there, and I spoiled myself, and there's a bag of frozen scallops as well. 15 bucks for a pound, but whatever. Then I got some almond milk. And of course, since I'm starving and it's 11 now, some Chipotle crack pack for beef jerky to snack on. Yeah. What is it again? Show what's the front. That's legit. It's what, two, three, three grams of fat or two? Three. Three grams of fat, 14 grams of protein. All right, we need to get some diet soda. Do you think I could have like a skinny cap caramel pretzel? You can have whatever you want. Oh my God, those look good. Those, are, those probably aren't low fat though, the, the pretzels. That should not be called skinny. Nine grams. Nine grams of fat's not skinny cow. It's obese cow. What do you want a red, red box? Can we watch The Intern? I saw it already, but I haven't seen it with you. I don't, want, I don't want to watch a girl movie. I'd like to watch a funny comedy to put me in a good mood. Is that, is that a female movie, or is it or is it manly? It's funny, too. Let's do the one that you wanted with Mark Wahlberg. No, that's kind of dumb. Come on. This one here. We're going to do we, them both. We can do it, but I'm probably not going to watch that one. Yes, you are. We're going to do them both. We don't have a Blu-ray yet. We're kind of... That one looks good. We still have the same TV since 2008. We do have the same television since 2008. And we share one car. We're very, we're very uh, conservative. 11.35. Finished my Port of Stub sandwich. Now I'm cooking on the griddle outside because it's pretty decent weather. Here's my protein feast, guys. We have right here is wild boar. So wild boar is actually pretty lean game meat. It's uh, about 3 grams of fat per 3 ounces. Uh, right here we have venison patties. Of course we have the Atlantic wild salmon, which I'm loving. And then we have, uh, I believe, more elk or venison right here. So here's my protein feast. Uh, it's 11.30, it's a little late. My, he my heavy workload day. And I'm going to eat, uh, I don't know how much of this, until I'm satiated. And uh, the only carbs I had, I had a half of a port of sub sandwich, not the whole thing because it was super heavy with the sourdough. So uh, that's going to do it. New drink that I am drinking this week, iced coffee instead of the hot coffee. And this is what I'm basically doing for it, is I have one cup of almond milk. And in one cup there's three and a half grams of fat and one carb, so that's minimal. And it'll look like this. And then for my amino acids, because I'm trying to do about eh, a half scoop of whey isolate would be 12 grams approximately. Uh, to add more fluid volume, because the whey isolate's obviously powder, I do just a half cup of egg whites, which is very similar to a half scoop of 
whey protein. So a half cup of egg whites is about 12 grams of protein. That's my, that's my amino pulse component. And then I do my, well, almost a tablespoon, three-fourths of a tablespoon of the instant coffee. I will do a tablespoon of D-ribose. And I'll add my concentrated, I didn't even realize, I thought this was just flavoring at first, but this is actually coffee concentrated too, and <clears throat> vanilla flavoring. So I do a little bit of this. I don't measure it obviously, because you can't. And then maybe a tablespoon of this, uh, coffee made sugar-free and it's fat-free. And it's very low calorie, so it's fine. Oh my gosh, that might've been like two or three tablespoons. So we're gonna roll with that. And now I'm just going to blend it up real fast and show you kind of how thick it gets. And if it's not sweet enough, I actually add... The Tarani's Almond Roca, which is sugar-free. Or I'll add the Irish Cream. The Irish Cream, sugar-free. So we're going to blend it up and show you what it looks like. Here it is. Nice iced coffee, low calorie, a little bit of protein in there from the egg whites. And if you can, well, we'll show you a little closer. But it's very icy and thick, which is awesome. It's almost, it's like my version of a Starbucks drink. Hopefully I don't make a mess and have it collapse. So let me taste it. Until you, you can see how much I add to it. Yeah, it's not very sweet. And I like, the, I have a little bit of a sweet tooth, so I'm going to do... Just a little splash of the sugar-free Irish cream. I'm going to stir that on the spoon. I'm ready to rock and this is doing the same thing that a hot coffee obviously is. But it's refreshing because it's hot out here. And um, it's going to hopefully increase my metabolic rate from the caffeine, from the concentrated squeeze bottle, and then the regular coffee powder. And I'll have this or the hot coffee throughout the day intermittently uh, between, well there's no between meals, just basically every two and a half to three hours. And it's a delicious drink. So if you guys are dieting, pre-contest prep, uh, I don't see why there would be a problem for you to use a, a cup of almond milk. It's only about 30 to 40 calories. And then of course the coffee. Here's the, but here's the major catch here, is that the amount of caffeine that's in there is gonna counteract any 40 calories from the almond milk or whatever. You're gonna burn that off from the thermogenic increase from the coffee. So this should not be a problem. It should only help you for cutting or contest prep. I'm doing a video right now because I'm venting in the car to Rachel and she's like you need to recapture this for the people to see like your true emotions and it's like here it is I'm super frustrated with my body like I look down at my arms and my legs and I have no veins on my legs like I always used to and it's like I'm so sick of it because like one minute my mind will be like this is great I'm detoxing you know even off TRT I'm gonna get a great response once I reintroduce even testosterone replacement therapy maybe replacement growth hormone who knows this is awesome, you know, my body needs it. Then the next day I'm like, this sucks, I wanna get back on right away, like I need to get my hormones fixed. So I'm like, tug of war, back and forth emotionally, and it's just like, it's really lame. It's, it's lame going from, like someone said, you're a Ferrari with high octane fuel to a Pinto on unleaded and running on fumes and nothing now. You know, cold, you know, polar opposite end of the spectrum. Uh, you know, just walking into, we have a show, the Jay Cutler Classic this weekend, and it's like, you know, I used to go to shows, and and I was always round and full, I had veins everywhere, and it just, it, it did feel good. It felt good to do that, and or have that appearance, and now I'm probably going to wear a long sleeve flannel, and have my little glasses on, and be the, the smart guy behind the booth, instead of the guy with the big shoulders and arms. Um, so yeah, it's just things I've got to get used to, but it's frustrating, so like, I know on these videos, you see, you know, I try my best to be real, to be me, and yeah, it's, I'm smiling, I'm pretty happy, but, you know, behind the scenes, there are times where I'm just like, I'm angry, and I'm grumpy, and I'm pissed, and I'm moody, and I'm frustrated, and I'm just being honest. I mean, anyone that's had anything remotely close to this experience knows what I'm talking about, and especially if you've been, at, you know, you've been at a higher level, um, just to go to this is just kind of mind-boggling and I'm getting beat up over here over it and she's we're fighting a lot <laughs> actually those would be fun to kind of record on this video some of the fights but you well, might I told him we had a meeting at body cafe today he day and iris kyle's place um inside city gym or city athletic club sorry so I said just find find city gym body cafe just 
Google it for me because um, I think I was doing something else or I was driving and he Spit didn't it out. do it. And he Googled the wrong place and had me go to the wrong place. You said you said you said city gym and I typed in city gym. I didn't type in city I have athletic to club. Spell it out for him. He's not. I'm a very busy guy. I'm tech. I'm and he's not the best navigator. Because yes, you do have to make sure you're thorough. Anyway, just thought I would fill everyone in on a little rant, rant random rant. Kid's sick. Smoking needs to go to the vet. Poor little guy was puking all morning. And since we love our cat, obviously more than most people love cats, we're paranoid, so we're gonna take him in and get some blood work done. Aw. Love I don't wanna see this little guy in pain, so any type of Warm Hearts. Warm Hearts Pet Hospital for the little smokester. He hates vets, obviously, and goes nuts and starts hissing and sounds like a snake. And we're gonna see him get very temperamental and aggressive here really shortly. It's fun. Just he vomited? Did you even tell her he vomited? That's why we yeah, brought him in? he vomited like four times this morning. Just all liquid, which was not normal. Hmm. Well, hopefully we can figure something out. I don't know. Maybe it's the food though. Maybe it's just a change in the food. No, we've had that food for like... Maybe it's the house cleaners and their detergents and mm -hmm. chemicals. And... Late, late day today. Uh, I'm going to just do some mild exercises, some light squats, light leg presses. We're at an LVAC that has some pretty old school cool equipment. So we came here today for legs. So I know you guys never see me train legs. I do train them all the time. Uh, it's nothing special because I have knee issues and I'm not going heavy right now, but we'll take you through some of the leg training and some of the cool machines uh, that are at this LVAC. Where are we at? Which location is this, Rachel? Sahara? I don't or? know. We don't know, but it's amazing. All right guys, our gym workout at the LVAC got cut short. Unfortunately, my wife dropped a 45 pound plate on her shin and foot, had to cut it short. She was in excruciating pain. So that was at the vertical leg press and it fell off just from the rack. I'm not stopping though. At the home gym, I'm gonna pull out some squats here. I'm gonna do my, my really kind of ghetto leg extensions and leg curls and we'll just we're just going to get it done. Don't have a lot of oomph. I'm rolling on Clomid right now, 50 milligrams a night. That's powering through my workouts. This is basically double split I'm training again. Now it's been like three or four hours. We'll see what we can accomplish, but I'm not giving up. And uh, it's unfortunate she had to cut her workout short, but hey, you know, you can't really control that. You know, I was just hanging on the end and it just happened to fall off. So here we go. <laughs> I like Creed, the music, the music band, solely because of Kevin Lebroni. So I'm a Kevin Lebroni fan, and that's what he listened to in his Maryland gym. And I'm going to fast forward it to the song he posed to in the year 2000, which is awesome. His routine for the 2000 Mr. Olympia against Ronnie, where he got second. And uh, do my last set here. Nothing heavy, just two plates. Thank you.
I mean, I'm not worried about eating or anything. It's been nice to kind of decompress like, in that regard. But was like, I was Depends so on what your goal is I was so used. Uh, he wants to snow. Well, with my dad, like prostate cancer, my family has been. Just freak, I just got freaked out and witnessing all that was traumatizing. It's like, it was like, I like, 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 you still training people? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. That, that's my priority. I mean, yeah. This is a side thing. It's one of the So it's like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, okay. Okay. Uh, yeah, do it, Matt. Do it. Do it. Come on. Come on, Matt. So what's mine? He Come asked on. you to do the impersonation. You won't. Throw up your arm at least. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> I'm still waiting for him to do his, his impersonation. He was doing it last night. All right, guys, coming to an end of the Jay Cutler Classic. It's late. It's like 10:30. We've been here all day. Uh, it's been a great show. Jay, you know, it was a wonderful event. A lot of good people came out, of course, because this is Jay Cutler. Uh, and you know, it was good catching up with Dave Berlay, Eric Broser, and just uh, shaking hands with people. So. We're tired, we're gonna meet up with some friends for some sushi, all you can eat. Uh, Alan Kress and his wife, and we're gonna have a good time. No, I didn't train today, unfortunately, and I usually don't like to eat a bunch of food or cheat when I don't train, especially with low testosterone and just having a crappy metabolism, but I'm gonna enjoy myself and not really stress about it, have some fun with some people and eat some food.